Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Um, your Excellency, uh, Mr. Uh, Yasumasa Nagamine, Japanese ambassador to the UK, uh, Sir Alan Parker, a chairman of Brunswick Group. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished, uh, distinguished guests, good evening. My name is Hiroshi Fuji, uh, Deputy Director General of JETRO London. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. I'm delighted to announce this year's Sir Peter Parker Hours, the 30th hours since it began in 1990. Uh, first of all, I would like to invite Professor Stephen Hopgood, uh, Deputy Director and Pro Director, to say a few words on behalf of the organizers. So, Professor Hopgood, please. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm here on behalf of my uh, boss, the director, Baroness Valerie Amos, who is uh, a tremendous supporter of this event and uh, always likes to attend. Unfortunately, she's unable to be here this evening. So I'm here to welcome you all um, to the uh, um, uh, um, Sir Peter Parker Awards for Spoken Japanese. I'm here to uh, thank all the generous sponsors who have uh, maintain this as uh, such a premier event and premier prize for spoken Japanese and to thank you all very much for your continued support here to thank uh, the Embassy of Japan and His uh, Excellency the Ambassador for uh, the continued support that um, the uh, uh, Embassy has provided for this uh, award as well and to invite um, uh, the next speakers to come up to be, uh, um, encourage you to enjoy your evening and to remind you that there will be a reception afterwards. So please uh, remain uh, in the building and we'll take you upstairs for that. So welcome to SOAS and I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Hop Hopgood. Uh, now to represent as co-organizer, we have Mr. Takumi Fujino, uh, Director General of JETRO London. Uh, Mr. Fujino, can I have a few words, please? Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure to welcome you to the Sir Peter Park Award for Spoken Business Japanese. This contest has been running since 1990 to deepen business relationships between the UK, Europe, and Japan and support a growing desire in Europe to develop skills in spoken business Japanese. As you know, the UK left the EU at the end of last month. We believe that they will both remain important political, economic, and cultural partners. But on the other hand, the UK has entered into free trade agreement negotiations with the United States and other countries, including Japan, in order to strengthen business relations with the rest of the world. As such, I'm convinced that SPPA will become more important than ever. Today, we are celebrating the Sir Peter Parker Award's 30th anniversary, an amazing milestone showing how the relationship between our countries continues to grow. We are honored to host this important event with great support from the Embassy of Japan in UK, His Excellency Yasumasa Nagamine, Ambassador Extraordinary and Proportionary, and Sir Alan Parker, the Chairman Brunswick. Thank you very much. We were fortunate to receive dedicated support from the judging panel and interlocutors, as well as the representative from these companies that are sponsoring today's contest. Special thank thanks must, of course, go to the co-organizer of this event, so us for their continued cooperation and valued friendship. We received 26 applicants this year, six more than last year, and the top seven among them spoke here today. This year's applicants were from the UK, Italy, and Romania and France. It was a great pleasure to listen to their excellent speeches, and I know that the panel must have had a very tough time. We are sure that this event will motivate you in your own language studies. Finally, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone here today. I hope to see you all the reception 
right after this award ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Fujino. Uh, this year, we are honored to invite His Excellency Mr. Uh, Yasumasa Nagamine, Japanese Ambassador to the UK. Uh, Ambassador Nagamine, could you uh, please make a few remarks? Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, First, I thought that, uh, well, since I came to UK uh, two months plus days ago, uh, I have been making uh, English speeches uh, here and there. And I thought that tonight I would have an opportunity to speak in Japanese, <laughs> because uh, this is a Japanese uh, speech context, and everybody understands Japanese. But seemingly, it should be uh, uh, English. Uh, that I'm expected to make a speech in. So uh, please forgive me in uh, making some remarks in, in English. Uh, Sir Alan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is my great pleasure to be uh, with you for this uh, wonderful occasion of uh, the 30th anniversary of the spe uh, business speech uh, contest uh, awards. My wife and I are very much thrilled uh, to come here for this event. But unfortunately, we, we arrived a little bit late so that uh, we were not able to, to, uh, to enjoy the speeches. But maybe after this, award ceremony will be given and then awardees will make some kind of, uh, you know, uh, the speech in Japanese once again. And I would like to, at the outset, uh, express our uh, profound gratitude and uh, uh, respect to the hosts of this event. Uh, first of all, Professor Stephen Hobgood, uh, the pro director of SOAS. This is a wonderful venue. SOAS is a really a epicenter of a Japan study in the UK, and then the speech contest venue. This is uh, you know, the best venue, I'm sure, and the wonderful auditorium we are in. And also, uh, Mr. Takumi Fujino, the, the JETRO, uh, always you know, organizing and supporting this uh, speech contest. And, uh, well, uh, the, the, we are very much an honor to be part of this uh, event from the embassy in the past uh, uh, years. And, uh, you know, this is um, the Sir Peter Parker Awards is really a very important event for connecting Japan and the UK each year. And so uh, it is a great honor for us to have with uh, Sir Alan Parker, chairman of the Brunswick, uh, with us, uh, the Sir Peter's uh, the son, and then kind of a, uh, succeeding the legacy of this very great event uh, uh, this year too. So this is a 30th uh, anniversary year. Uh, this uh, long-lasting Japanese language speech context, contest for business people uh, was the brainchild of Sir Peter and is a part of the wonderful legacy of a person in whose life Japan played a very important part and then who contributed to mutual understanding between Japan and the UK in so many ways. We are here together at this outstanding university saw us where he studied the Japanese language and gained the tools and inspiration for his lifelong contribution to UK-Japan business exchange and the Japanese language education in the United Kingdom. 
So Peter must surely be looking down at us from somewhere up there and no doubt enjoyed impressive speeches uh, from uh, today's finalists already done. Clearly, our two countries, Japan and the UK, enjoy an extremely cordial and mutually beneficial relationship. An important element of such a, a relationship in underpinning our bilateral friendship is the enhancement of a mutual understanding between our two peoples, especially through learning each other's languages. Um, while for Westerners, Japanese language can be a bit of a, uh, uh, difficult to master, but the reward makes the effort very much worthwhile. All of the finalists today must have gained great satisfaction from their endeavors, uh, which will open many doors to them, for, uh, for them, both in business and uh, so socially in future. There should be no shortage of opportunities for British people to display their Japanese language skills in the future, in business, in social life, elsewhere. It is really a fact that over 1,000 Japanese companies have been uh, operating uh, here in the UK, and uh, investment, uh, accumulated investment uh, would be surpassing 80 billion pounds, and then creating more than 180,000 people in the UK. Furthermore, the Japan-UK season of culture, perhaps you have heard of it, now in full swing. It's a connecting between last year and this year, between Rugby World Cup and the Tokyo Olympics and the Paralympics coming summer. More than 600 events have already been registered under that umbrella of Japan-UK season of culture. This event is also part of season of culture? I hope so, yes. So, uh, award finalists and those people who devoted to strengthening the cordial ties between Japan and the UK, uh, namely each one of you, each one of us, uh, Oh, Sir Peter, our enduring gratitude and, uh, uh, for everything he did to advance cooperation and, uh, uh, and productive in interaction between our two peoples. So uh, you know, keeping that memory very much in mind, I'm sure this award will be very much successful this year, and we do hope this event will uh, grow further, strength to strength in the years to come. So I'm so proud and I'm so privileged to be part of uh, this evening's event. And next year, I will make a pledge that I will come earlier <laughs> and then uh, enjoy the speeches that time. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Ambassador Nagamine. Uh, now, uh, this year, I'm pleased to say a member of Sir Peter Parker's family is also here tonight. I'd like to invite Sir Alan Parker, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Peter's son, chairman of the Brunswick Group, up next. So, uh, Sir Parker, could you have a few remarks? Well, thank you very much, um, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador and his good wife. Lovely to see you here today, and I hugely applaud your support and appreciate it enormously on all our behalf. As I would for Mr. Frugino, and of course so as Professor Hopgood, absolutely terrific. Uh, speaking, I can steal his words, of pride and privilege, it makes me enormously proud to be here, and it is an incredible privilege. It's an amazing thing that this award has gone on for 30 years and seems to grow. And I would almost say is more important now than even when it started. So it's a great delight that I have of even saying a few words here today. I do believe that what Jetro does, or what SOAS does in promoting these kind of links is unbelievably important. And we in Brunswick will try and support it in every way we can 
and to see His Excellency present again, I just cannot understate how much difference that makes. One of the things that seems to keep getting better is the standard of speeches, I'm told. I was speaking to one winner who did it, won it in 1991, who did slightly worryingly say he's not sure he would have won it this year. The standard keeps rising. I personally feel that's a generational perspective overall. Uh, but it is amazing how good the quality of the speeches are. I won't personally make a lot of comments on the individual speeches. I inherited a lot of things from my father, not his competence in Japanese, I'd like to say. Um, but I do think his passion for this came from a very deep and profound belief in two things. Um, one, that heritage and culture are incredibly important. And you will do more with people you understand better. And he linked that to the study of other people's cultures in any of our backgrounds is incredibly important. The more you can understand someone else's culture, the more you can come together with that person. And almost the pinnacle of understanding a culture is the language. Now, I have to say, English, I'm told, is a very, very difficult language. I'm told Japanese is not that easy either. And I've got to say, for most of the Brits I know, we feel truly humbled at how well so many Japanese speak our language. So I think it was a real cause to say we want more British people to speak this and speak it really beautifully. And to see not just the standard of the presentations today, but the commitment of some of the people uh, really to getting up to that level is genuinely and truly inspiring. I hugely applaud the Japanese um, uh, uh, Festival of Culture and Arts. I think this is, uh, as a season, I think this is incredibly important. Uh, again, my father chaired that 1991 um, uh, festival. I see a few heads nodding back there. You were only eight years old then, I think it was. But um, uh, it was incredibly important because whilst he believed culture was so important and language was so important, he profoundly believed, the second point, is that Britain and Japan have a huge natural linkage in being island races, in being races with great heritage, and yet seeking great futures. He absolutely understood that and said, however far we are away, these are two natural partners in the world. And so he's very keen to do that, which is why I think, I believe the Japan Festival genuinely made a great impact. And I think he would be delighted this year. I think they're back, I think, obviously, when uh, I think my father originally opened with Prince Charles, the lovely garden in Holland Park, back with what was then the Crown Prince and Prince Charles. Um, and, of course, the Crown Prince is now a wonderful emperor, and I think it is a still a wonderful testimony of that culture right in the heart of Kensington. So I think to see those cultural engagements really carried on, I think, is a really incredibly important thing and deserves all of our support. We actually are also supporting another particular one I know a lot of our chums are involved with, which is a cherry tree. They turned up to me the other day and said, we're planting some cherry trees. And I thought, well, that'll be a nice avenue. He said, yes, we're planting 6,500 of them in Britain. And I thought, well, that's a certain kind of ambition that is very important when you're looking at how we might share our cultures together. I can't think of a time in my lifetime where it's been more important for our two countries to be close and get on well. We are facing extraordinary times in the world. I think we do have a lot of natural things that bring us together as nations. I think we've heard the ambassador speak very articulately about the depth of investment, the number of companies. But I think that comes from, as I said, a natural connection and a deep sense of heritage that we must continue to build on at this time. From where I sit as Brunswick, we. Uh, are very proud to have built a strong, very strong business in Japan, and obviously we're uh, 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 based originally in London. Um, and I've got to say, on my own behalf, I absolutely applaud um, and respect how honourably the Japanese have dealt with the issues of Brexit. They've done what I believe really long-term deep friends do, which is act honourably and constructively and think long. I have a client when I was talking the other day about how well I thought Japan had dealt with uh, the issues of us coming out of Europe and how clear they've been, how supportive they've been. Um, 
And he said, yes, Alan, you've got to understand, it was a major oil company that had had a real problems. And he said, Alan, do you remember when we were in the depths of our problems? And I said, yes. I remember it vividly. I was there. It was a major company. And all companies have crises sooner or later. And he said, right in the middle of that crisis, you're looking around the world for who would be our friend. And a Japanese bank turned up to us and said, you have real problems. And we would like to support you. We'd like to work with you for the next 75 years. <laughs> and by the way, just as a marker of that, at this troubled time, we would like to put a billion dollars at your disposal to be pulled on for whatever you like. And please consider us for any joint ventures or anything you think we can come in on. And my client said, quite simply, there is no other country in the world that approaches business at that angle with that kind of confidence, trust, and long-termism. And I thought it was an amazing story of that is the difference. And that is the kind of relationship that I think both sides of Britain and Japan must be looking for as we go forward in this increasingly complex world. I do believe um, uh, that right now, as I said, it's going to be important. But equally, I think we're both looking forward. What can be done? You're talking about the trade deals. What can be done? And that does come down to quite a granular level of everybody somewhat leaning into this challenge. And if, as my father believed, business and culture are absolutely inextricably linked, then I think that what we're looking at in trying to promote the British and Japanese approaches is a deep heritage that one does draw on for a lot of values, for a lot of social strength, but actually ambition and a mod modernity that puts both countries right at the front of the world. So I think that we have a huge amount to learn from both sides, certainly Britain from Japan in these matters. And I would hope that if we can continue to grow closer, and with the kind of talent we're seeing tonight, I hope that is the sort of encouragement we need. But people who have learned from, have bothered to learn the language have made some of that commitment. But I hear more and more of my clients who say how important Japan will be in the next of thinking and their next round of investment as they look at that region and how we can build international links. So I'm a huge optimist as to what is possible. And I think what's a delight is having a night like this when we're celebrating how close we can be at that cultural and hopefully business level too. So I would thank all of you again for all of your support and particularly the institutions, but the individuals as well. I know how much it's meant to all the individuals who've worked so hard to get to this level. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Thank you so much, Sir Parker. Um, I would now like to introduce the uh, supporters and uh, sponsors of today's hours. Uh, may I ask each representative to stand up when your name is called? So, uh, Embassy of Japan in the UK, uh, represented by uh, Ambassador Nagamine. <laughs> Department for International Trade, uh, represented by Mr. Simon Fisher. <laughs> Access Appointments Consultancy Limited, uh, represented by Ms. Junko Hashimoto. Brunswick Group, represented by Sir Alan Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Japan Airlines Company Limited, uh, represented by Mr. Masatoshi Takeuchi. <laughs> Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the UK, or JCC UK, represented by Mr. Uh, Masa, uh, sorry, uh, Takaaki Hanaoka. Japan Center Group Limited, represented by uh, Mr. Masaru Ishikawa. <laughs> JPT Europe Limited, known as JP Books, represented by Mr. Shinya Masuda. <laughs> Minamoto Kichouan, represented by Mr. Shuta Nihei.
三菱コーポレーションインターナショナルユーロップリプレゼンテッドバイミスターイサオカノー三菱エレクトリックユーロップリプレゼンテッドバイミスターヨウジサイトー日経ユーロップリミテッドリプレゼンテッドバイミスターワタルスズキ UK Limited and represented by Mr. Kazuhiro Tsuruta. Sagamiya, unfortunately, no one could attend this evening. Sake Samurai, represented by Ms. Rie Yoshitake. She was there, but now she's not here. So next up, uh, uh, Tempura Ono, so unfortunately no one could attend this evening. The Great Britain Sasaka Foundation, represented by Mr. Brendan Griggs. <laughs> the Japan Society, represented by Miss Heidi Potter. So uh, she's not here. <laughs> so uh, Zoom Japan UK Limited, and unfortunately no one could attend this evening. So then uh, I would now like to ask uh, today's chief judge, Mr. Uh, Takeshi Ito, to comment on today's contest. Congratulations to all the finalists. Uh, this is the first time for me to serve as a jury, and uh, I was presently surprised the excellent with the the excellent performance of you all finalists. Um, I asked the juries who served uh, several years uh, he, uh, in this contest, and uh, they uh, said that uh, uh, it seems that every year uh, it's keep in the performance uh, is keep uh, <coughs> the performance keeps improving, and uh, uh, the, it was a difficult decision and uh, somewhat painful to. Uh, decide on prizes, but uh, uh, I was uh, uh, <coughs> I'm pleased that uh, there are uh, good prizes for everyone. Thank you very much for the sponsors. Um, the many finalists uh, demonstrated uh, not only uh, great skills in using Japanese language, but also uh, in uh, utilizing uh, uh, great, great ability in utilizing uh, statics, statistics data uh, or uh, episodes and anecdotes uh, very effectively, uh, like the uh, there's a, a episode of uh, failures in interpretation uh, during business negotiation or uh, the uh, experiences in working with Japanese bosses and uh, colleagues. And uh, some uses even quotes from Japanese authors, and uh, uh, it was particularly impressive to uh, hear a quote from Murakami Haruki uh, in question and answer session. Um, uh, and also, uh, I, uh, the uh, ability in time management was great, uh, to which I have to be also careful too. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, uh, I'd like to uh, especially uh, say that the uh, uh, great power of communication uh, was exhibited. <coughs> I was impressed with the great power of um, communication exhibited by uh, some uh, finalists who have never lived in Japan, never worked in Japanese environment, or uh, never studied at school, never studied Japanese at school. And uh, yeah. Uh, congratulations, again, congratulations, and thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Ito. Uh, before announcing the winners, let me introduce our remarkable finalists. Uh, please stand up when your name is called. Uh, let's welcome with great applause. So, Mr. Chiko O. Mr. Ben Jones. Uh, 
Uh, Mrs. Zhang Hong, Zhang Hong Lao. <laughs> Mr. Victor Chua. Uh, Mr. Viv Paranjape. <laughs> Mr. Sami Narainen. Mr. Bruce Kirk. Thank you. Uh, now we'd like to begin with the third prize. Uh, this year's third place winner will receive the following prizes. A certificate presented by Professor Hopgood, a iPad and accessories donated by JCCI UK, presented by Mr. Hanaoka, 300 pound gift voucher for Stanton House Hotel donated by Access Appointment presented by Ms. Hashimoto. Japanese sweets donated by Minamoto Kichouan presented by Mr. Nihei. Doraemon cushion donated by Japan Center presented by Mr. Ishikawa. 30 pounds meal voucher donated by Sagamiya, presented by Mr. Fujino. One year Zoom Japan subscription, donated by Zoom Japan UK, presented by Mr. Fujino. And now, the third place prize winner is Mr. Sami Narainen. Uh, moving on to the second place prize winner. This year, the winner will receive a certificate presented by uh, Professor Hopgood, a 1,000 Amazon voucher donated by Mitsubishi Corporation, presented by Mr. Kano, Japanese sweets donated by Minamoto Kichouan, presented by Mr. Nihei, and Doraemon cushion donated by Japan Center, presented by Mr. Ishikawa, Meal voucher donated by Tempura Ono, presented by Mr. Fujino. <laughs> One year Zoom Japan subscription donated by Zoom Japan UK, presented by Mr. Fujino. The second place prize winner is Mr. Ben Jones. <laughs>
Before announcing the first prize winner, we would like to give a special prize to another finalist who has impressed the judges. Uh, these prizes are a certificate presented by Professor Hopgood, a digital camera uh, donated by Rico, presented by Mr. Tsuruta, 200 pounds meal voucher for Kanadaya and Machia, donated by Access Appointment, presented by Ms. Hashimoto, Japanese sweets donated by Minamoto Kichoa, presented by Mr. Nihei, Doraemon cushion donated by Japan Center, presented by Mr. Ishikawa, 30 pounds meal voucher donated by Sagamiya, presented by Mr. Fujino, one year Zoom Japan subscription donated by Zoom Japan UK, presented by Mr. Fujino. The special prize winner is uh, Mr. Uh, Vivi Parajampe. And finally, um, the moment has come to announce the 30 uh, Sir Peter Parker Awards winner. Uh, this year, the winner will receive the following fabulous prizes. The winner's cup will be handed by His Excellency, Mr. Yasumasa Nagamine, Japanese ambassador to the UK. The 30th special anniversary plate designed by Ms. Jill Fensho, presented by Sir Parker. A certificate to be presented by Professor Hopgood. JAL Mileage Bank, 70,000 miles, donated by Japan Airlines, presented by Mr. Takeuchi. 1,500 pounds, donated by Mitsubishi Electric, presented, presented by Mr. Saito. Japan Railway Pass, donated by Japan Center Group, presented by Mr. Ishikawa. Doraemon Cushion, donated by Japan Center Group, presented by Mr. Ishikawa. Japanese Sweets, donated by Minamoto Kichowa, presented by Mr. Nihei. A meal voucher, donated by Tempura Ono, presented by Mr. Fujino. One year Zoom Japan subscription, donated by Zoom Japan UK, presented by Mr. Fujino. Um, the third is Sir Peter Parker Awards winner is Mr. Chiko O.
チコさん、チコチコさん、そうは、could you please say a few words, please here? ジェフリーさん。じゃあ、あの、聞くのこの機会いただいていただいて本当にありがとうございました。え、いつもあの、オックスフォード大学でスーパーバイザーとも話しますけれども、オックスフォードのようなあの屈指の研究機関では5年は
morning, but that's well. okay, thank you. <laughs> and uh, thank you all very much for giving us your time for this event. Uh, now we'd like to have a raffle draw to award some fantastic prizes to the audience. There are eight available prizes. Five bottles of sake, two vouchers for meal at, ja at the Japanese restaurant Sagamiya, and one voucher for tempura restaurant Ono in Tokyo. First, the five bottles of sake. Professor Hopgood, could you please draw five raffle tickets? So uh, number 57, 26, 53, 13, and 70. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And then uh, two Sagamiya's meal voucher, uh, Sapaka, could you please draw two raffle tickets? Two, yes, please. Two. <laughs> Number four. Yeah, no four. Can I move on to the next one? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. Number sixty-one. Number sixty-one. <laughs> and number forty-eight. Number forty-eight. Number forty-eight. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sapaka. <laughs> Uh, finally, one tempura restaurant ono meal voucher, uh, Ambassador Nagamine, could you please draw one raffle ticket? <laughs> Number 30, 30, zero? 30. Number 30. No? <laughs> well, could you please one, one more? Number 31. Number 47. Number 47. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Ambassador Nagamine. So uh, after the hour ceremony, uh, could the eight winners uh, please come up to the registration area for your prizes? Um, I, will, I will now like to conclude uh, this year's uh, Peter Parker hour ceremony. Uh, thank you all very much for your attendance. And once again, congratulations to the winner. Let's have a big round of applause for all the finalists, sponsors, supporters, the judges, interpreters, and the timekeeper. The reception, including commendation ceremony for Mrs. Yoshiko, Yoshiko Jones by Embassy of Japan in the UK, is being held in the Brunei suite, which is on the ground floor of this building. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you. And I would like to remind the finalists and platform party, all representatives of the supporters and sponsors, that there will be a photo session after this ceremony. So please stay in this room. Uh, thank you once again and enjoy the reception. Thank you so much. <laughs> 